Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited when summoners contact me and say, hey, I just became uncollected. I just became Cavalier. But of course the biggest and best uh, progression and really the most difficult though it has gotten reasonably better and easier given how much more is available, particularly for rank three six star materials in the past six months even, is Thronebreaker. And this summoner, Mr. Metric Area, recently reached out to me because he just achieved the status of Thronebreaker and I think is celebrating with this crystal opening? I don't know. But bro, we're going to celebrate together. Oh man, I hate that exchange. The 10,000 five-star shards for 750 six-star shards. I think it should be at least... 2,000 six star shards and and if you're going to say like the, what the bare minimum is a thousand but 750 like what is that seven and a half percent of a six star for a hundred percent of a five star pathetic but that being said let's see how this summoner does in terms of throne breaker luck let's see if this is how all of us want to celebrate becoming throne breaker all right five star Featured Crystal is slowing down. And Drax. Okay. That is a start. It's not a great start. He also has two featured six stars. Oh, Grand Masters. Please tell me you're popping these. Well, you got a four star. That's um, better than it could be. I have had better luck with five star drops in Grandmaster Crystals than I have Cavalier Crystals. I can't explain it. It doesn't make any sense. And yet, here we are. All right. This is just the spectrum of crystals, isn't it? Ebony Coleslaw, Awakened. His mind is deteriorating. Isn't it ironic that you awaken something and it deteriorates? That's very, very ironic. All right, two featured six-star crystals. Sure. Remember, the Waffler opened one Hyperion out of his hundred, so I'm always looking for Hyperion to pop up. Not that it's, you know, easy, because it's not. El Chingo N submitted 24 and opened one Hyperion and no Kitty Prides. First one is, okay, that's a very good pull, Nimrod. I just took my five star to 565, I'm excited to use him, based off of the suggestions of you all and the way that we ranked the tech class. All right, second and final six star featured from Nimrod to... What? What is this? What are the odds of that? What are the odds of this? Thronebreaker luck? Look at that. That's a 4.2% chance to get a champion. He got the same champion and only two crystals. What else has he got to open? Oh, a five-star Nexus? And a... S okay, sure. Five star Nexus. Oh, we got Quake. And I guess we're going to the second video. Two six star Nimrods, and he finally pulled Quake. It's amazing that you became Thronebreaker before you landed on Quake, but I know people who just have that white whale, you know? Wow. Okay, so you got two Nimrods, you got Quake. Maybe this is going to be a Beyond God tier, God tier champ. If you can master Quake, maybe you've already mastered her as a three or four star. I wish I could say a six star, but she's not available. Hey, it's me. It's Mr. Negative. But then you got Archangel too. Gosh, this is how all of us should want to become uh, Throne Breaker. And we have the final video to celebrate this. Metric area. You don't want to go with Mr. Negative. You want to go with Archangel. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. No. Don't do it. You did it? What?
What? I thought I already knew what I was going to title this. I was going to title it, you know, Thronebreaker, New Thronebreaker Gets Great Luck. You know, something like that. But now, does that make any sense? Would you do that? Six star Mr. Negative or six star Archangel? Look, I know Archangel's a puzzle piece champion. He needs to be awakened. A pretty decent SIG to be his max potential. But I feel like Archangel is much better potentially long term for his mutant class than Mr. Negative is for science class. I'm not saying that Mr. Negative isn't good. He is good. And he would have been my second choice. We have seen some bizarre Nexus decisions on this channel. I'm still really happy for the Nimrods. We could have easily made the title of the video about them. Quake finally could have made the title about that, but I gotta I'm just I'm confused. I am so confused. Would you have done that? Let me know in the comments, YouTube. What a weird way. I shouldn't, I shouldn't record these videos right before I go to sleep because I end up getting a headache and I just end up feeling really, really foggy, if nothing else.